Well, good day, folks. Camel Cowboy Outdoors. Um, I was just out today actually foraging for some mushrooms. I was watching Gary from Muskrat Outdoors, and um, he was eating a mushroom there in his video that he released this morning. And um, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's, it's spelt like machete. I call them bolettis. But I'm not sure if that's the right pronunciation. I'm not sure if they're bolites or or balettis. But up here in Saskatchewan, we do have them. Um, I don't know a lot about mushrooms, but I this last year I've been doing quite a bit of research, and um, they are good to eat. There's um, a few different species of those balettis, but they're all good to eat. They're all safe to eat, and um, I found one already. That's what it looks like. Um, and they have a sponge, a sponge bottom on them. They don't have the gills. I don't know enough about those ones with the gills. Um, I know we have them Russian mushrooms here. Those, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. If it's a Russula, Rus Russula, it's R-U-S-S-U-L-A. And we do have them, but sometimes you look at them, sometimes they look like those death caps. And like I said, I don't know enough about them. Um, I don't think those death caps are native here. They're an invasive species to Canada, but there are some in British Columbia on the island. They've found them on Vancouver Island in the lower mainland there. So I'm not sure. I'm just not eating anything else besides those balettis and like i said with those i know there's about four or five maybe even more different species of them they all look similar but they're all they're all edible here's one here this is a different kind i don't know what the heck this is you know it's big this will have the gills underneath yeah it's got the see they got the the gills and I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's safe to eat. So I am not going to eat it. Where these, these don't have the gills. They got the sponge bottom, these balettis. But anyways, I'm look around a bit. There's so many mushrooms this year. It's crazy. Um, we have those fly algorex too. And, um... You don't want to eat them either. They, I don't think they'll kill you, but they'll make you go a little funny in the head. See, here's some more. Not sure if these are the dark ones underneath. Oh, this one's got white gills, but I'm not saying that once they get bigger, maybe it, maybe these gills will turn dark too. This might be the same kind as that last one, that big one. I don't know. Or maybe it is a a Rusilla. Rusilla. I just don't know guys. Like I said with this mushrooming, I am just a beginner. There's one that's all rotten. But um There's something there too. There's a little brown one. I have no idea, guys. There's a bunch in here. I know with these balettis, um, the smaller ones are probably a little better to eat. And they're probably better to eat them in the spring or later in the fall like it's getting to be now because um, sometimes in the in the height of summer they get badly infested with insects and stuff but now this time of the year a lot of the insects are gone already they shouldn't be too bad so that being said guys unless I find some more I'm going to take this home 
and I'm gonna eat them. Actually, a couple weeks ago, there was a lot more mushrooms out. Much more. Here's one in here. This one's getting past. This one's real sticky. That was a, yeah, it's real sticky. That's a baletti. That one won't be good anymore. Okay, here we got something a little different, guys. And I believe this is one of them fly algorics that'll make your brain go a little funny. If I'm wrong, maybe someone could correct me, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is, I think. So we're not going to eat that one. But I'm going to keep looking a little bit more, folks. If I don't see you again today, thank you for watching. Trapping season's getting closer, and we will see you down the trail.